So one of the most common commands you'll use when you're doing any kind of file management sort of work in the terminal is the CP command. What is CP? CP is the copy command. You use CP to copy files and directories to new locations. So the basic way this works is you CP and then the path to some file on the system and then path to the new target file so the new file that's being created so let me show you this in action of course here in my home directory i have a file called dot bash rc and let's imagine i want to copy my dot bash rc here in my home directory over into a new file called test bash rc and if i hit enter on that and do an ls here in my home directory i still have the original dot bash rc but now i have a new file test bash rc now let's imagine i want to copy that file i just created the test bash rc over into my downloads directory so i just do the path to the downloads directory and i don't specify a new file name this time i just specify a directory what that is going to do it's going to copy the file into the directory but it's going to keep the same file name so if i cd into downloads and do an ls you can see inside my downloads directory it did copy a file but it kept the original file name test bash rc although i could have specified a new name if i wanted a different name for the file now when it comes to copying directories typically you're going to want to use the dash r flag so you're going to copy dash r so a recursive copy directory one into directory two is typically the way this works right now here in my downloads directory i have a subdirectory called test if i do an ls of the test directory you can see inside it i have five test files one through five dot txt so let's imagine i want to recursively copy the test directory to a new directory well i copy dash r test into a new directory let's say test2 and if i do that and ls now i have the original test directory with those five files still in it and now i also have a second directory test2 with a copy of all of those files within it and if i do a ls of test2 just to verify that you can see this is the contents of test2, exactly the same as the original test directory. Now one thing to note about copying directories, if you do a copy, a recursive copy of directory1 and directory2, it will do exactly what just happened with test and test2, where if test2 doesn't already exist, it will create the directory and then the contents of whatever was being copied, the source directory, will be the contents of the new directory being created. But here's the thing, if we're copying directory 1 into directory 2 and directory 2 already exists, meaning the directory has already been made, it's not going to copy the contents of directory 1 into directory 2, it's actually going to copy directory 1 to directory 2. So let me show you this in action. Let me make a new directory. I'm going to make a directory and I'm going to call it test3. So now test3 already exists if i do an ls it's already here it's just an empty directory now if i do a recursive copy of test into test 3 just like i did before with test 2 except this time test 3 already exists and again if i do an ls there's test 3 let's cd into test 3 and do an ls and you can see the contents of test 3 are not those five test files one through five dot txt it's actually a, uh, a subdirectory inside here is I actually copied the test directory inside the test three directory because it already existed if i cd space dot dot to cd up back into the parent directory the downloads directory if i up arrow and run that same command the copy test into in this case let's do test four a directory that does not exist and now if i ls test four you can see instead of copying test into test four it actually just copied the contents of test into test four so that is a very important thing to note when doing the recursive copy is that the second directory if the target directory does not exist then it will copy the contents of the source directory into it if it does exist though it will actually copy the entire directory itself into the target directory like many shell commands the copy command does have a verbose flag dash v for verbose it basically uh, gives you output it tells you hey the file you just wanted to copy 
did actually copy. So let me show you this in action. Let's do a verbose and a recursive copy of the test directory and let's create a new directory test five this time. And you can see we actually get output because it's verbose, right? So it tells us, hey, we just created the test five directory because it didn't exist. And then we copied all of these files over. One cool flag you can use with copy is the dash T flag for target directory. So let's specify a target directory. In this case, I'm gonna use the test directory as the target. So this is the directory, the target directory. It's gonna be the files get copied to this directory. That's why it's the target. What files get copied? Well, I'm actually not sure of files that I have inside my downloads directory here. I'm, I have this file here. Let's see what else is available for me. Also have my test bash RC. I can just give it a list of files. I can give it a infinite list of file names and all of these file names, this file, this file, the next file I, I list out, you know, it can be a gigantic list of files. They're all going to get copied to the target, dash T, and in this case, the test directory. And if I run that, and now I ls my test directory, you can see I have those five txt files, and now I also have copies of the bar action sh and the test bash rc file. So the dash t flag is very useful when you're copying several individual file names that you're going to have to list out into a specific directory, into one specific directory. One useful trick with the copy command is sometimes you want to copy all files with a specific file extension. For example, I note in that test directory, I have several files that end in txt, 1.txt, 2.txt, etc. So I can do asterisk dot txt for all the files in the test directory that end in dot txt. I can copy that space into dot slash. What is dot slash? Well, that's the directory I'm currently in, which is the downloads directory. If I run that and I do an ls, now inside the downloads directory, I now have copies of one through five dot txt. There is an important safety flag with copy, the dash i flag for interactive mode. What this does, it prompts you if copy is going to overwrite a file or directory. So if I do a cp dash i and in this case, let's copy five dot txt over to one dot txt. And it's going to ask me, hey, 5.txt is being rewritten over to 1.txt, but 1.txt already exists. Do you really want to override it? In this case, I'm going to say no. For more information about the CP command, be sure to check out the man page. Type man CP in the terminal to read the manual.